hopefully I'll get the Tom painted soon and get that video up. picture even have to do with painting the tom? Paint it? Who? What? Uh, hello? <laughs> who? Who are you? That doesn't matter. Just what? What? Who? What? Just do it. Wait, Mr. Star, we'll get a new home soon. Alright, so it's actually been about a week since the last shot you just saw. I ran out of paint, which is why I just abruptly cut to this shot. So I'm going to get more primer right now. I'm also going to get more of the green paint because I have some, but it's probably not enough. I honestly haven't checked, so I'm just going to buy some just in case. And then also I need to get like wood filler because there's some pretty big, not cracks, but just like the grain is really open. So I'm going to get some wood filler, paint, and that should be all. We'll get back on this project. So it's actually been about another month and a half since that last shot. So I added a whole bunch of coats of primer just to fill in the last little bits. But also there's still a few little voids here and there. So I went back and filled those in with the wood filler and sanded those down flat. So now it should be time to actually paint it. So you might remember in the previous videos where I painted the floor tom and the bass drum, I just brushed on the paint. But not too long ago, I got a compressor, so I went out to Harbor Freight and bought this cheap uh, spray gun. Costs like 16 bucks, and surprisingly it works pretty well. So you might have noticed that I only added a small amount of paint, and that's just because this is the first time I'm really using the spray gun. I did a few test sprays on a trash can, but uh, this is the first time I'm using it on a project, so I added a very small amount of paint just in case I screwed up for some reason. Uh, also, you'll notice that I cut it down with some water just to thin it out a bit so it sprayed a little bit more evenly. But I actually ended up using a little bit too much water and it caused the paint to drip a little bit. But that's nothing a little bit of sanding can fix. And then one other thing before the safety trolls start commenting. This being the first time me using this thing, I was a little bit nervous. Also, the fact that I had to deal with all the cameras and stuff. I totally forgot to put on my respirator, so... Yes, I know I'm probably going to die from all the atomized paint in the air now, so I know, and there's no need to comment on that. And then here I'm just sanding down all the high spots from where the paint dripped. So this is the second coat, and I actually had the, the air pressure set a little bit too high. So again, I got a little bit of dripping, but again, nothing a little bit of sanding can't fix. And then some more sanding, some painting, more sanding, more painting, more sanding, more painting, some more sanding, some painting, a little bit of sanding, and some painting. Oh yeah, and some sanding. I ended up putting on six or seven coats of paint, so this is the final sanding I'm going to do before I put the finish on. So I'm using 600 grit paper, so we'll get a nice smooth finish. 
And to finish it, I'm just using some spray lacquer. I already had it. Uh, I could use the spray gun again, but again, I already had these cans, so I might as well use them. And this is actually the third coat of clear. I like to put on a few coats before I start to sand, so that way I know all the small imperfections in the paint are filled with clear, and also that I have a thick enough layer of clear to start sanding. Oh, and for all you diehard fans of the $20 drum set series, I made some stickers, so there's a link in the description if you want to buy some. And just like painting, there's a lot of sanding, spraying, sanding, and spraying, so you get the idea. So you've probably noticed that I've been painting over the bearing edges, and I'm going to recut them, but I'm only going to take a really shallow pass. So that way I'm only removing the paint and not so much the wood. And now if you watch my second channel you might remember a video where I make this table saw extension wing and in that video I say I made this wing in order to turn it into a router table but I've been waiting to buy a new router because I just have a small palm router right now so eventually that'll happen so right now I just made this ghetto temporary router table with the small palm router using some scrap wood and then I just put it in between one of the holes in the leaf of the table saw. I'm only recutting the bearing edges on the outside diameter of the drum so I have a quarter inch round over bit but as you can see I'm not using the full depth of cut of the bit. I have the majority of the bit sunk below the table so that way I'm only taking a really shallow skim pass along the drum. And you can also see here why I need a bigger router table. got the damn palm painted it only took like nine months to do it <laughs> so uh, this actually is not the conclusion of the $20 drum set series you might remember that I still have the 13 inch Tom and actually I've already started on this uh, you can probably guess what this is gonna be so hopefully this video won't take as long as this video so uh, it's the end of the year uh, Christmas is in a few days so I just want to wish you guys a happy holidays Hopefully you guys, you know, have fun, get some cool gifts, and uh, get time to drum. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.